Hello everyone, my name is Luke. Uh, I am the developer of Luke Air to Fly Lat. Uh, this is just an update what I'm doing with the um, Air Tool rewrite. Just to show you guys uh, just a little bit about Sim Connect and how it works. And this is literally my first ever test flight, so let's hope it works. So as you can see, I'm just going to move it up a little bit. Uh, this is kind of the it's very similar layout to the old air tool we kept well sorry i kept the color scheme the button slightly changed so there's no more tabs you've got your normal buttons here and the custom buttons this may change in the future uh, this is just the first stage of it today we're going to be testing the speeds altitude and the heading capturing uh, things like distance in this distance uh, sorry distance departure and uh, arrival or destination it's not being calculated yet this is just basic text label everything on the right here uh, sorry on the, on the right uh, don't think capturing my, no it's not capturing my mouse so you really see profit flight time and stuff like that that's not being captured so I'm purely testing the speed altitude heading and the map uh, seat plans are not currently done yet uh, so um, yeah the first stage of the closed test release won't actually feature seat plans because I'm trying to focus on sim connect and making the app run really smooth um, so you can't hear the audio of the game that's fine because we're not really here to test that just trying to see as, as we can see the speed is picking up uh, the heading slightly changed when I moved yep it's moving um, no you, you won't require official IPC uh, this version currently is only compatible with Microsoft Flight Sim Reason being, I haven't gone down to actually check in how X-Plane connects, connects with that FSU IPC, uh, sorry, XU IPC. So that will still be required for X-Plane. But whilst I'm editing Airtool 3.0, when it gets first released, it'll be only compatible with Flight Sim. So let's see once I take off if it actually does anything different. You can see the mouse, that's fine. So yeah, the sim status actually does work. It's coming up that it's connected, so that means sim connect is fully established its connection. So let's have a look. I'm not doing this properly, I just literally want to test that the minute I take off. So for those who do not know what Airtool 3.0 is, it's a completely full rewrite of the program. Um, as on the current version of Airtool that you guys are using, I was learning how to code. Um, so there's going to be a lot of dead code or very buggy code as you or experience bugs in Airtool. So this new version, completely different language, um, running very smoothly. And hopefully I can get this out to you guys very soon. Let's have a look. Speed is picking up nicely. Altitude is picked up from the ground altitude. I might do the aircraft to ground. So I think that'll be a better option. There you go. Let's take off. Yeah, as you can see, altitude is picking up, so it's not working fine. The map is moving quickly as well quite smoothly compared to the current version of Airtool. Yep, it works fine. I think there's no need for me to do a loop around the airport, we can see it's working. So yeah, next thing what I'm going to be working on is making sure the audio buttons work. Uh, so you can see that the audio is the buttons are quite nice, neat, minimalistic. Um, so you got the welcome announcement, safety, seat belts on, seat belts off. I think yeah. Uh, I need to change the icon on that one. I didn't have an icon for that. Uh, duty free landing runway. So when you landed, uh, this is the seat belt ding sound. They don't do anything yet. Uh, that will be your uh, boarding audio. Uh, obviously that stop every time you let's say you start you click on that if you want to end it you can actually click on it again and that will end that's what I'm aiming for these are the custom buttons you can assign anything you want to that as well 
and now it will work on any airline so not like before we have to keep creating it for each airline uh, they will be actually binded to whatever you want it to um, or if you prefer to do it by airlines I'm happy to do that it's just every time you want to use the same announcement you have to do it for each specific airline the list of airlines won't change at the moment we'll probably be adding some more um, what I noticed there's several um, people requesting maybe some variations of the text-to-speech which yes I'm working on that uh, so I'm working about three for each one at the moment so um, they'll be different and over time I'll just add it uh, what else what else translation of the app yeah that's that will come probably maybe in three point uh, sorry yeah in three point two maybe not straight away I kind of want to release uh, this version that well it's kind of delayed I wanted to release it last week for Airtool's second birthday um, at the moment I don't want to give out a date when I'm planning to release it just in case I can't make it due to health um, but hopefully I can release it soon uh, and I'm aiming to release it this year still um, there will be few invites for closed beta so people that will constantly run Airtool or have been using Airtool for some time and people that are very active on our discord channel they will get access to this uh, they will get an invite there will be a code so it's not like you can just give the exe away to people the installation process will be very similar uh, you still just literally download the zip extract and off you go there's no need for FSU IPC so for those that really hate it um, you probably will be happy to see that you will not be required to do that I've removed a lot of pointless functions however there will be an option for things like maps and stuff like that also when you double click in on um, the departure it will bring up the charts or I'll bring up maybe like a menu uh, and there you have charts and runaway data so things like wind uh, you know what um, what runway is best to land and take off from and stuff like that uh, weather will be added back into this as well so that will be under tools uh, sorry not tools here uh, so you click on that uh, meta will come up with all the information just like it does in air tool but in a lot better nice and cleaner option uh, passenger requests so when someone does request something it will come up here uh, on the right uh, however maybe I'm thinking of some form of pop-up option uh, where you do it I haven't got to that stage yet like I said once the seat plans are there I'll be able to uh, uh, I'll be able to kind of get a work in uh, someone asked me are oh, other seat plans uh, so seat plans from current version are they going to be compatible with uh, with the new version of Airtool um, I don't know that's that's me being honest I want to but I'm trying to work out a better nice cleaner way of having um, a nice cleaner way of actually having better announce a uh, better sort of uh, seat plans uh, allowing kind of content creators to create their own so if you've got your own custom airline you can actually create ones for your for your own airline um, so yeah people that are verified users as well so at the moment if you can see on their tools um, workshop we've got loads of seat plans that are just taking up a lot of space uh, so then ones will be deleted and we well we we'll see uh, each content with their own page so let's say you like seat plans from certain user let's say user A you can actually just go directly to them and it will give you a list of everything they've created if you want to be a content creator that's fine you can just create a seat plan uh, upload to the server that will need to be approved by one of the admins on the server if after time you do create uh, good enough seats we will then uh, invite you to have your own custom page uh, with all your seat plans at the moment no current date I just wanted to do this quick demo uh, to display to you that uh, you can see that sim connect is fully working FSU IPC is not required so thanks for watching and I'll keep you posted with any new updates